In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create an EasyCut Studio and utilizing the lattice effect. So the lattice effect will just give you a, a fencing-like structure uh, on your design. And I'm going to show that here to you. Now, let's just say, for example, we want to make a card. And we're going to use this rectangle, the square right here, to to draw the basic shape of the card. Now the next thing that we need to do, uh, you know, of course I'm going to make sure that this thing is filled in with a color and I'm going to go ahead and, and choose this. Now it, on this card I do want to have a window on it, alright? And if you have your library pulled up, it does have some uh, nice frames under the Create in Spain designs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here. It says frame number two. You can see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's not going to show as if it's filled in or anything. But uh, don't worry, we can go ahead and change that color with the fill and stroke. And that's right here. So I'm going to choose color. And for now, white is fine. I'm going to go ahead and increase the size on it. And then uh, I'm going to place it on here, but I'm going to rotate it this way. So when the card is folded, this is going to be a window, but I would like to have this window be uh, a lattice type of effect. And if we go up to the effects menu with the framed window selected, I can go ahead and go to the lattice effect. Under the lattice effect you will see this. Now uh, anytime we are placing this uh, over a shape, uh, we're going to need to use the inverse of it. Otherwise it will not uh, cut properly. So we want to go ahead and inverse that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick preview. Now you can change the settings with the width and the gap as well as the angle to meet the needs of your shape. So already we're, we're looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now we have this window. Now of course you can still move that wherever you want. And once you have it in the place that you do want, uh, what I would always suggest doing is selecting everything and all you have to do is go up to object merge and that will then fuse it together so I mean if we want to go back to that color of blue oops, let me go ahead and select that and we're going to choose the color of uh, blue here uh, that is how you do that within easy cut studio uh, pretty simple on using the lattice effect and what it does and how you can create your own unique designs with this so that you could have a card that's uh, folded right there in the middle and have a little window on there.